My name is John Torres, and today I am graduating from year up. This journey was not easy, but I received the support I needed in order to make it this far. In fact, there was one individual who stood by my side and made a huge impact on me, my mentor, Bob Shea. When I got accepted into Europe, I was told that I would be paired up with a mentor. Then I asked myself, what do I need a mentor for? Don't I have all the support that I need? Before Europe, I did not have a mentor or the support that I'm lucky to have today. Little did I know that this new relationship was gonna help change my life. When Bob and I first met, I didn't really know what to expect since we didn't know each other, but that's also what I liked about it. However, I couldn't help but wonder, was he gonna be cool? <laughs> What if we don't get along or he doesn't like me? <laughs> During the kickoff to meet your mentor breakfast, all the staff and students kept telling me, John, Bob was looking for you, which I found funny because I was looking for him as well. Um, when we finally met, a big weight was lifted off my shoulders because I knew from that moment on that me and Bob would get along. Our first meeting was quick due to the fact that he had to attend another meeting, but we did swap contact information. He even included his house number, which to me was a big deal. In our, in our meeting, well, in our conversation, Bob shared that he was a vice president and chief financial officer of CCRI. Talk about a big deal, huh? <laughs> <laughs> My excitement continued to grow from there. A couple of weeks passed, and I had the courage to set up a lunch meeting to get to know him better. Our first meeting was awesome. We shared great stories and exchanged lots of laughs, which to me was a good sign. Bob treated me with respect, as well as, of, as well if I was one of his own. I really appreciated that type of care since I was away from my parents. He even introduced me to his wife, Tracy, who also treated me with respect. Um, I felt like I had a second set of parents, which I didn't mind at all. In my heart, I wanted Bob to be recognized because he's been there for me no matter what. During each and every one of our meetings, he would ask me things like, what were my plans after year up? Where did I see myself in five years? Those are questions I don't really ask myself when I'm alone, so I'm thankful that he was asking them. He even helped me when I didn't ask for help, especially during a time when I was struggling on my internship. Whenever I felt the need, I drew inspiration from his positive attitude. When I was in trouble, he worried about me, which showed that he actually did care. His commitment towards me was more than I ever thought possible. One of my biggest highlights during my year up journey was when Bob pushed me to register to vote for the first time. I didn't really have a care for politics, but when I voted and submitted my ballot, the feeling that I got was something I couldn't explain, and I owe it all to Bob. I am proud to say that I'm a college student. Because of Bob, I promised myself that I will continue with my studies. In fact, I have already initiated my class registration for next semester. You once said to me, the way you repay me for all of this is by crossing that graduation stage and completing the year of program. Well, today is that day, and I hope I made you proud. Thank you for your leadership and believing in year up and my colleagues, but more importantly, thank you for believing in me.